Welcome Reckless Wanderers, it's Robert again with my Detonate Tat Tat. You know, Detonate Tat? That's a new thing. The bear exploding. No. Uh, with <laughs> Detonate Tat Chieftain with totems and a lot of boom boom. Uh, I got some very positive feedback in the comments of the previous video and also some requests of showing how this guy performs in red maps. So that's what we're going to show here. Obviously this is not a red map yet, that's just the dunes that I have like active while I start the video, since I wanted to explain how the character has changed yet again. As I mentioned in the previous one, I spec'd out of the crit stuff and I forgot to actually spec out the crit totem nodes because they were completely useless as well. And uh, I actually completely forgot where I put them into. Ah yeah, right, Heart of Flame, so even more fire damage. And as I spec'd out of all this uh, crit shenanigans, I thought, um, okay, maybe having the um, the rat's nest as a helmet is not the best idea because if I'm not critting, why do I need a crit helmet? So I settled for another helmet that has the same enchant but it's actually a rare and uh, has a bunch of life and resists on it. So that finally gets me closer to my 6k life that I eventually want to have. The problem though is that now it is like insanely difficult to proc elemental overload because Unearth has a crit chance of basically nothing. It's 10% uh, and it's very unreliable. So I had to bite into the sour apple and set up a Orb of Storms again, which I occasionally use for Abysses and for those Null Portals and for bosses, of course. So, and the Orb of Storms is basically linked with increased critical strikes and this one procs it immediately. So with, with Orb of Storms, I can have it up immediately. Long-term goal is, of course, to get rid of this. And I have something here. I found that in a Shaper map, which has okay life and Socrates spells have plus one to critical strike chance. So if I put my unearth setup in here, maybe I can get rid of all of storms. So that's uh, maybe an option. But now without further ado, let's get into red maps. The only red map I have is the promenade. That's actually the very first one I found. Since red maps, since red maps need to be corrupted. Oh, this is perfect. Monster damage, boss life, no region. So I, rely totally on leech that is super interesting i hope the mods remain if i corrupt that yes they remain oh, isn't that beautiful awesome i'm glad it's not reflect because reflect would mean that it would take ages to complete the map uh, it doesn't open oh there we go that was scary yeah the the internet is kind of meh at the moment so it might just be that everything goes to shit and I got DC'd or whatever. So let's just hope that that, that doesn't happen. It's extremely laggy and jittery and jumpy. I'm taking a fair bit of damage obviously because minus max and the mobs here do your fire damage. But as you can also see, Leech is doing its wonders. And the Leech back full. And also if you take a look at the buff bar, you see that elemental overload basically is not on at all. It's only if I would uh, put in um, Orb of Storms, then that, that, that procs immediately. So that's the thing. But in terms of damage, it looks like we're good still, I guess. Just have to see if we don't get uh, shredded by any mobs. One thing that I'm definitely missing from the Red's Nets is the increased movement speed. I sincerely hope that I at one point can get back to a 
on the get back, but get my hands on a 35% movement speed boots, pair of boots, oh, they hurt. That was a bit scary. Minus max, minus max, minus max can get me. Oh, since I'm so close to leveling up, I really <laughs> don't want to die here. I definitely noticed that it's increasingly difficult to uh, to level up, especially since uh, getting higher tier maps is a lot more difficult nowadays. So many varnish coats here. We're going to run out of chance orbs. Three rare monsters. That is neat. That's how we take care of three rare monsters, by exploding the entire strong box around them. Feels good, man. So this is obviously going to be a little bit of a longer, blah, a little bit of a longer video. Since I'm not hurrying here for once and because I'm taking my sweet time in that map for some reason. Also one reason why I couldn't level up further <coughs> and I'm still level 88 is the fact that uh, I, I've been sick the past couple of days and I haven't been playing. Remember kids, when you're sick, don't play computer games. Get the rest you need. Totally do that. Okay, I haven't seen what this boss does now. So I'm just gonna chill because I don't know if they buffed them in any way. There are thorns. I'm getting quite my ass kicked here. Okay, that guy's down. Let's take a look at the witch. She's doing some serious work with my totems. Let's get early overload. There it is. Let's get our flasks up. Oh, oh wow, that hurts. I should not stand in that ball. And there she's down. So yeah, obviously not the tankiest of bosses and not the dangerous dangerousest just assist of bosses, but I think it's still a fairly good demonstration of the capabilities of that character since it is no region and it is minus max and yeah shenanigans. Let's see how that fares in T15. We'll see that when we get there. Until then, have a good day. My name is Robert and I hope to see you in game.